guys. Um, right now, we're on the uh, M6 motorway in England, and we're heading north uh, from the Manchester airport. Um, up the road uh, a ways, we're going to pick up the uh, A683, which is going to take us over into uh, the Yorkshire Dales. Now, some of the plans for today, uh, there's been a few little changes only because um, we were three hours delayed leaving Toronto last night due to our uh, beautiful Canadian winter weather, of course. Um, so yeah, it, it's changed the plans today just because of the daylight hours and so on. Uh, we're still on our way to Ribblehead Viaduct, that's where we're going right now. And the conditions look great actually, in fact the sky's got some amazing character in it where I am now. But I'm still a little ways away from there, uh, so we'll see. Uh, but right now we've got some patches of blue sky, we've got some really nice kind of white, and then some really deep grey uh, kind of cumulus clouds. And um, you know what, the skies are looking wonderful. So hey, here we are, uh, we're in England, uh, delayed, but that's okay. And we're on the M6, we're heading north. We'll pick you up when we get to the Ribblehead Viaduct. Yeah. They drive really fast here in England, I've noticed. I noticed that the last time I was here too. But hey, that's okay. A Ribblehead Viaduct. Uh, right now we're just going to go check out the, uh, the, the train station itself. Um, it's kind of amazing. Uh, wasn't really hard to find but that's because we'd done some planning at home before we came so uh, the directions that we figured out worked well. Um, <coughs> yeah you know what it's amazing. Um, I'm gonna go take a look around the, uh, the um, train station and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go take a look at the viaduct. I, I'm really kind of stoked about this. Um, I'd been planning this for a long time. So uh, the inspiration, actually, you know, to come here was from uh, Adam on First Man Photography. Check out his channel, by the way. Um, he was the inspiration for me to come to this viaduct and photograph it. And that's about oh, 6,000 kilometers away from my home. So hey. Here we are. <laughs> Look at this. An actual functioning, uh, working train station here at, Rib here at Riverdale. Um, wow. In the background there, in the distance, uh, that's the fells uh, we had intended to uh, hike today. Whether we're going to have time, well, I don't see how we are. There's just not enough daylight now. Uh, due to the fact that we were delayed three hours leaving Toronto. But still, just take a look at this place. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So a functioning um, train station. So it's, it's Ribblehead. So it's Ribblehead train station. Wow. Yeah. And right here we're in North Yorkshire, in the uh, Yorkshire Dales, uh, and it's absolutely beautiful. Wow. But just as I arrived, just as I parked my car and I got out and so on, there was actually a train going over the viaduct. I grabbed my camera quickly and, and turned it on and so on and, and did what I could. Um, so I did try to snap a shot of that train going over the viaduct and I maybe caught the tail end of that train. But anyhow, here's a look down the track as it heads off into the distance and to the snow-capped fells beyond. <laughs> Truly amazing. Okay, we're going to go back down the pathway. We're going to head out. We're going to have a look at the actual viaduct itself. And then we'll see how far we can get up the... Uh, trail that we wanted to hike. So right behind me, Ribblehead Viaduct. Um, <laughs> hey, we made it here. Now, 
again, as I've mentioned already, due to the fact that we were delayed three hours in Toronto, uh, causes a few problems as far as what I wanted to accomplish today. One was the hike to the top of Wernside Fell. Uh, Wernside Fell is the highest fell in um, the Lake, uh, sorry, in the Yorkshire Dales. From here, it's four and a half miles to the summit. Uh, but the time of day just doesn't allow me to do that four and a half miles. I would need at least, um, I'd say, I'd, I'd have to allow at least a good four to six hours to go up there, photograph what I want to photograph and so on, come back down safely in good light. But um, what I can do is, um, you know what I'm thinking, what I can do is, and here, here comes a train. Um, you know what, we're going to grab a little bit of footage of this train going over this viaduct because here comes one uh, and that's the second one I've seen. Um, I hope you guys can see that on the uh, GoPro. Not a big train, it's a small train, but it's a train going over the viaduct. There it goes. Yeah. Interesting. So hey, we did manage to get a, um, a train going over there anyhow. Uh, anyhow, so right here is the trail that begins the Wernside Fell hike. And even though I know I'm not going to accomplish that particular hike today, I still have a couple of hours before sunset. So what I'm thinking is, I might head up here 45 minutes to an hour anyhow. Um, there's some waterfalls in a river somewhere up here. No idea where, never been up here before. Um, will I see that in the next 45 minutes to an hour? I have no idea. But if I don't, if I stay down here, then I won't see it, that's for sure. So let's head up there, let's take a look. Um, plus I'd like to get into a vantage point to take a few shots of the actual viaduct itself. The sun or the light is on the opposite side of the viaduct right now and I anticipate it staying there. Um, the right, there is some blue in the sky, there's an awful lot of cloud in the sky. The cloud is has got a lot of character to it, it's lighter and then darker grey cumulus cloud which is great for photography, I just love that. Um, but you know what, we don't know. So let's head up this trail, get some altitude, get some height, see what happens, see what we can see, see how we make out. So let's get going. So something that just happened that was kind of interesting and fun and, and exciting. Um, I did decide to de uh, deploy the drone and as you know now I have the unique breeze with me um, and it is windy here uh, so I was a little concerned about that but I did want to get some footage of the viaduct itself and um, just as I launched the drone in the distance I could hear a train coming and uh, a beautiful freight train passed over the viaduct. Uh, we hopefully got all that with the uh, with the drone. I hope so. And you know what? If we did, I'm going to roll that footage now. Right now, we're at the side of a river. Now this river, stream uh, with rocks, um, hills in the background, old 
a relic of an old farm home from back in the day. Fells behind that. Blue sky with some gray cloud. Beautiful running water. We're set up on a tripod. Okay, I'm using my Canon 5D Mark II. I have on there my 17 to 40 mil lens. I have an ISO of 100. I have an f-stop of f22. I have a shutter speed of 1 13th of a second. I've set a two second timer. We're gonna take that shot. There's the shot. Now, you might think to yourself, Gary, you've got quite, quite quick running water here. Why are you doing 1 13th of a second? Well, do not ask me where my filters are. Okay, ask me and I'll tell you. I left them in the car. I did. I came all this way out here and I left my filters in the car. I cannot get a slower shutter speed. I know. <laughs> what can I tell you? Um, one of these days, I am going to go out on a shoot and I'm going to get every single thing just right. But it's not today. Let's take a look at that image. Let's see what we've got. So, um, from that river scene where we were just shooting a few minutes ago, I decided I'm going to head back towards or back around the other side of the viaduct. But right now, there is some nice light um, as we're kind of approaching, um, kind of approaching the golden hour, and the sun's kind of sitting flat and low on the horizon. Um, so I thought, you know what? If I can go back around to the other side of that viaduct, I might get some nice light and then come to the other side of the viaduct and could I get a sunset? I don't know. Um, but hey, let's give it a try uh, and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so right now we're set up uh, shooting. I'm gonna turn the GoPro around so you can see the, sun, the sunset there and the viaduct in front of that in the foreground. I'm set up on a bunch of rocks here, just kind of in the field. Um, I've got some nice foreground interest with, with those rocks. I've got the viaduct, I've got the sunset uh, in the fells and some nice cloud in the sky. So it's a really good composition. It's a nice area to be in tonight. Um, I'm bracketing my shots. Um, so I'm gonna put those together, of course, in Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever it is we're using. But right now I'm using F22. I have an ISO of 100. I have a focal length of 24 mil. That's allowing me to pick up a little bit of the fells over to the left there as I turn the camera around. You can see those towards the end of the viaduct. It's allowing me just to pick up a little bit of that. So I've got the whole expanse there. Uh, this would actually be really good for a panorama shot, panoramic shot too. But anyhow, that's another day. Uh, so yeah, we're taking three shots. I'm gonna do one to what my camera tells me is exposed. Two second timer, there's my shot. I'm going to go two stops under, two second timer, there's my shot, and I'm going to go two stops over, two second timer, there's my shot. So when we get these back to the studio, we're going to put them in Lightroom, we're going to have a look and see what we've got. Hey, and you know what, as always, if we've got anything at all out of any of these images, I'm going to put them up now for you to see. guys uh, we got back in the car uh, we're heading back now or we're heading over to Keswick now um, we finished at the Ribblehead viaduct it was absolutely amazing hope we got some nice shots of there today because I had a lot of fun even though we were way delayed I still had a lot of fun there uh, so I I'm really glad I've been there um, but now we're on his way back to oh, back, blah, 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 start again we're on his way over to Keswick uh, we're going to check into our accommodations, we're going to get a bite to eat, maybe get a cup of coffee, things like that, get checked in. And yeah, uh, the adventure continues, or the adventure has now begun. Tomorrow, who knows? We'll figure that out once I look at the charts, look at the schedule, see what we're going to do tomorrow. It'll be a lot of fun though, whatever it is. Hey, let's take a look at some images from today, because today has been a blast. <laughs> 